Namaste. Welcome to all of you who are joining me today. My name is Lisa. Today's session will be a full body asana practice. And to start off, we'll come into a Adha Shavasana or half corpse, corpse pose. So lay on your back while keeping your knees bent and the feet flat pressing onto the mat. Roll your shoulders down, arms relaxed by your side, palms facing up. Lower your chin slightly closer towards your chest, elongating the back of your neck. And whenever you are ready, close your eyes and breathe. In and out through your nostrils. Just observe the length and the depth of your breath. And from there, shift your awareness into your physical body. Notice how you feel in your body right now. Let's do a simple scan of areas in our body that are making contacts with the ground. Starting with the soles of our feet, our sacrum, our upper back, the back of our shoulders, our arms, the back of our hands, and the back of our head. Release the weight of our physical body through those areas. And for now, let go, relax, soften, and accept the support of the earth beneath us. Place one hand on top of your abdomen and the other hand on top of your chest. Come back to our breathing and observe the rising and falling of our chest, ribs, and abdomen as we breathe in and out. After the next exhale, open your eyes, release your arms back to your side. Roll onto one side of your body and press up and come into easy seated position. Cross your legs in front of you. Wiggle your hips slightly, find your sitting bones and ground them onto the earth. Sitting tall, spine neutral, roll your shoulders, press the chin back and down slightly, so you should be looking straight ahead. And then Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder and then circle the head around the back. Come onto the left side and continue circle the head across the front of the chest. Back onto the right side and continue circling around the back to the left, across the chest to the right and 
few more circles. Move slowly. And when your head back on the right side, reverse the circle. So this time from the right side, move across the chest to the left and across the back to the right and forward, left, back, right side and keep going. Just one more circle and then bring your head back towards the center and this time roll your shoulders slowly make the circles as big as possible moving across the four corners up back down and forward and then reverse the circle and release let's come into a different sitting position so tuck your toes under and sit your hips on your heels so we are stretching the soles of our feet this can be quite intense so let's see how much can you tolerate it if that's too much then untuck the toes and simply sit on your heels otherwise coming back onto toes tuck under keep the shoulders relaxed as we extend the arms forward make fist with both hands and then flex at the wrist pointing the knuckles down and release and spread the fingers as you extend the wrist pointing the fingers up make fist flex the wrist finger spread extend the wrist and keep going warming up our wrist as we stretch the soles of our feet and then release arms by your side place the hands in front of your knees lean forward and slowly untuck those toes press the top of your feet on the mat sit on your heels and then lean back slightly lifting the knees off the mat continue to breathe and then place knees back on your mat and let's change the sitting position again come into a straddle so keep about maybe 90 degrees uh, for your straddles not something too wide and interlace the fingers and place them at the back of your head flex your bow feet toes pointing up from neutral spine start to round your back starting from your neck your upper back lower back lowering your head close towards the floor and then inhale and start to unroll and come back into neutral spine looking forward and exhale as you start to roll forward inhale unroll neutral spine exhale roll forward inhale unroll couple more and 
exhale release your arms by your side left hand on right knee inhale right arm up exhale side bending towards the left leg and reach your right fingers beyond the left toes opening the front of the chest forward breathe one more breath with the inhale bring the torso upright and switch to the second side so this time left arm up with the inhale and exhale side bending towards the right leg reach your left fingers beyond the right toes chest open and breathe and inhale bring the torso upright place your hands behind your waist lean back slightly and circle your ankles pressing the heels at on the ground and reverse the circles point and flex the feet and keep them pointed as you curl and uncurl your toes or point and flex, flex the toes and flex the feet and point and flex the toes and release Let's come onto our hands and knees. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Let's find our neutral spine first. So press the chin and the head back. Chin down slightly. So you should be looking down at the point in between your hands. Press your finger pads onto the mat as you start to lift the base of your palms up and lower it down. Lift and down. And keep going for several more repetition. Another uh, one of a uh, wrist warm ups. and release press the finger pads the knuckles onto the mat inhale and start to arch from your lower back upper back and the neck head looking up exhale start to round from the lower back upper back and neck head looking towards your belly button inhale and arch exhale round keep going one more inhale and exhale return to neutral spine extend your right leg behind right toes on the mat and push through the right heel towards the back stretching your right calf and right knee down extend the left leg left toes on the mat push through the left heel towards the back left knee down widen your knees touch the big toes together and press back 
hips towards heels into a wide knee uh, child pose. Inhale, uh, twist to the right side and raise your right arm up. Exhale, thread the right arm under the chest, pointing towards the left side. And rest the right side of your head on the mat. And walk the left hand forward. And we are twisting to the left side and attempt to keep your chest open to the left and breathe and on the next inhale lift up circling the left arm to the back and uh, facing forward come back into child's pose lower your forehead down onto the mat arms reaching forward inhale as you twist to the left lifting the left arm up exhale thread the left arm under your chest towards the right side rest the left side of your head on the mat walk the right hand forward chest open to the right side and breathe with the next inhale circle the right arm towards the back lifting your torso up and untwist facing forward and move back into all four position so again align the head with the rest width of the spine so push your head back chin down slightly and keep your shoulder blades away from your ears and spread the shoulder blades away from the midline press your finger pads knuckles on the mat tuck the toes inhale feel the expansion and exhale as you extend both legs towards the back coming into plank so in plank squeeze your buttocks engage your glutes lift your kneecaps and press your heels towards the back imagine there is a straight wooden plank placed at the back of your body so press your head the back of your head and your entire spine up to your sacrum against the wooden plank keep breathing and with the next exhale lift the hips up and to the back coming into inverted V shape or downward facing dog bend your knees for now breathe watch that you are not drooping your head down press the head back and start to pedal your feet straighten one knee and bend the other and switch and keep both knees bent hook the left foot behind the right ankle while keeping the right knee bent attempt to lower your right heel towards the mat another one of a calf stretch release both feet down and this time 
hook the right foot behind the left ankle keeping the left knee bent lower the left heel towards the mat and release both feet on the mat try keeping both knees straight this time tuck your tailbone up and attempt to ground both heels towards the mat if this is too much for the back of your legs you are welcome to keep both knees bent hands press away from the mat breathe and then drop onto your knees untuck the toes sit on your heels for now and we will transition up into standing so start with tucking your toes under keep on your fingertips for uh, balance otherwise you may, you may try it hands free so roll onto your toes lifting your both knees off the mat and slowly press up into standing on your tippy toes slow with control still on your tippy toes one more breath exhale lower your heels down walk into the uh, top of your mat come into mountain pose so feet apart align the sitting bones with your heels engage your legs engage your glutes neutral spine shoulder relax externally rotate your arms so your palms facing forward press the head back chin down looking straight forward ground your feet onto the earth couple of breaths here and with the next exhale slowly roll your neck and your spine slowly coming down into forward fold press your hands on the mat inhale halfway lift stay light on your fingertips looking down and exhale fold deeper inhale and step your right leg back drop the right knee come up into a low lunge with both knees at 90 degrees inhale right arm up exhale side bending to the left keep the chest open for towards uh, the front and inhale bring your torso upright hands on your waist and tuck your tailbone in as you lower deeper onto your low lunge moving into a crescent lunge so keep the tailbone scoop in so you, you might not be able to uh, drop really low into your lunge and then if you are available for you today raise your arms up palms in prayer and slightly arch your upper back breathe and inhale arms down move back into 
both knees 90 degrees extend the front leg keep the front foot relaxed and tuck your tailbone towards the back this time and with every exhale lower your torso towards the front leg maybe lowering into your fingertips or maybe your palms and bend the front knee just slightly and see if you can lower even further towards your front leg and inhale press up bend the front knee we are going to move into side plank so place the hands down and we will turn the sternum towards the left side as we swing the lower back leg and extend the other leg press with your right hand against the mat poise your hips up maybe extending the left arm up looking forward or look towards the left hand you could stay here or for the next couple of breaths extend the bottom leg and place the foot in front of the other foot so right foot in front of the left and exhale lower the left hand down turn back into plank and press back downward facing dog tailbone tilting up press with your hands one more breath inhale step the right foot forward drop the back knee torso upright back into low lunge with both knees 90 degrees inhale left arm up exhale side bending to the right side keep the chest open and inhaling up release the left arm so start with scooping your tailbone in before you extend the left hip going lower into your low lunge but keep your tailbone scoop in moving into crescent lunge you could stay here or raise both arms up hands in prayer with an exhale reach your crown of the head up and start to arch your upper back go into somewhere you are comfortable breathe and inhale up hands down and press up into both knees 90 degrees extend the front leg and keep the front foot relaxed as you tilt your tailbone towards the back and with every exhale attempt to lower your torso towards the front leg relax the front foot maybe lower onto your fingertips and maybe palms keep breathing and bend the front knee just slightly and see if you can fall forward even further towards the front leg
inhale press up torso upright bend the front knee hands down and twist your sternum to the right side as you swing the lower back leg towards the left and extend the other leg to the back arriving in your variation of side plank so with the left hand press up and use the musculature on the side of your torso to prop your body up extend the right arm look forward or maybe look towards your right hand breathe and for the next couple of breaths you are welcome to try extending the bottom leg and place the foot in front of the other foot and exhale lower the right hand down flip back into plank one more breath exhale press downward facing dog inhale step the left foot forward and then right foot exhaling into forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold and with the next inhale slowly unroll yourself up back into standing mountain pose stay where you are i will move into the middle of the mat facing you so you can see me better so we'll try three pose next so start with bending the right knee keep the right toes on the mat and then externally rotate to open the right leg to the right side so a few options you can place your right foot on top of the left ankle or place it up above the left knee you can use your right finger to assist gently if you choose to place the right foot higher up and just stay in three for a few breaths working on balance fix your gaze into a point in front of you and breathe and release the right foot keep the right knee bent and this time uh, point the right knee forward and start to extend the right hip towards the back extend the right leg as you tilt your body weight forward moving into a warrior tree so experiment with the height of the right leg find the height that give you balance you might not need to lift the right leg so high those of you who has regular warrior tree practice you might attempt to go into full warrior tree with the arms on the waist to the side or even forward and bend the front knee lower the back foot come into high lunge lift the back heel of the mat inhale right arm up exhale side bending to the left inhale torso upright hands down and we'll move back into side plank so turn your sternum to the left 
as you step the front foot towards the back so you can put the foot in front of each other or stack the feet but I want you to press with your right hand and hoist your hips up keeping your right side body from drooping down maybe extend the left arm up look forward or look up you are welcome to drop the bottom knee down come back to this variation otherwise try the side plank and for the next couple of breaths some of you might want to try lifting the top leg up exhale lower the top leg lower the left hand back into plank and exhale downward facing dog inhale step the right foot forward and left foot forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold start to bend your knees bring your hips lower shift weight more towards your heels as you raise your torso up chairs and inhale come up and arms by your side back into mountain this time we'll move back into tree on the second side so bend your left knee left toes still on the mat externally rotate open the left leg to the left side and few option you can place your left foot on top of the right ankle or higher up above your right knee use your left finger to gently assist if you choose to place the left foot higher arms by your side or make a prayer or maybe arms up your choice but fix your gaze in a point in front of you and breathe for balance one more breath in three pose before you let go the left foot off the right thigh and point the left knee forward and from here we will extend the left hip and send the left foot straight towards the back warrior three again working to find the height of the back leg that works the best for your balance today you don't need to lift it so high unless you have a regular practice of warrior tree then you are welcome to move into your variation of warrior tree start to bend the front knee and land the back foot onto the mat high lunge inhale left arm up exhale side bending to the right side breathe inhale bring your torso upright lower both hands down twist your sternum to the right side as you step the right leg to the back right foot in front of the left foot press with your left hand hoist your side body and your hips up into side plank right arm up look forward or look towards your right hand again you are welcome to drop the bottom knee otherwise try the side plank maybe stack your feet on top of each other 
and breathe. For another couple of breaths, some of you might try lifting the top leg up. And exhale, lower the top leg, lower the right hand, plank, exhale, downward facing dog. And inhale, step, the left foot forward, right foot forward, exhale, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Start to bend your both knees, lowering your hips down. Start shifting more weights back towards your heels. With an inhale, swipe your arms up, chairs. One more breath. Inhale, straighten your knees. Gently arch your upper back, look up, exhale, look forward, float your arms by your side. Hands in prayer in front of your chest or hands on your waist. And Come up onto your tippy toes, press more towards the ball of your big toe. Stay on tippy toes as you start to bend your knees, lowering your hips slowly towards your heels. Hit control and keep breathing. If, you, if available for you, stay in the tippy toe squat for a bit and lower your heels and your bottoms on the mat we will roll back into halasana and roll back up into a boat pose for several repetition so from here roll onto your back bring your legs towards your head extend your legs Halasana and bend your knees, roll forward, balance on your tailbone, keep your knees bent or legs straight into boat pose, breathe, inhale, exhale, bend the knees, roll back, straighten the legs, Halasana and inhale, roll up, boat pose. Extend your legs or keep the knees bent. Breathe. Bend the knees. Exhale to roll back. Halasana. Inhale, bend the knees. Boat pose. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, roll. Halasana. Inhale, last boat pose, holding it for a few breaths. Inhale, bend the knees, exhale, roll back, halasana, and this time roll into half corpse pose. Lay down on your back with the knees bent feet flat on the floor, arms by your side, windshield wiper your knees or your legs to the left and to the right. And keep both knees on the right side, spread your arms to the side and look up or look towards your left hand mm. 
Inhale, knees up, and drop the knees to the left, turn your head to the right. Bring the knees up, bring your arms closer towards the side of your body, feet apart slightly, bring your chin down closer to your chest, close your eyes and we'll do a simple pranayama. So take an inhale for four counts and hold the in-breath for as long as uh, you could until there is a need to exhale and you exhale for six counts and hold after exhale for as long as you could until there is a need to inhale. So inhale. Four counts, exhale six count, adding pauses in between. So let's start. Inhale, two, three, four, hold. And when you need to exhale, exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one, and hold. until there is, a, there is an urge to inhale then you will inhale for four counts hold after inhale exhale when you need to for six counts and keep going try to make the pauses in between inhales and exhale to be at as natural as possible no straining follow your body cues on when to inhale and to exhale If you are ready, you can extend your exhale even longer, up to 8 counts, so twice longer than your inhale. Let's do two more rounds of breathing before we move into Shavasana. Take your time to complete your pranayama. And whenever you are ready, extend your legs one at a time. Keep them apart about mat width distance. Roll your shoulders if you need to. Arms relax. Shake your head side to side. Release any remaining tension. And 
return back to natural breathing shift your awareness into your breath observe the length and the depth of your breath whenever your mind drifts away return to your inhale and your exhales and finally give your body permission to rest Start to deepen your breath. Take an inhale. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Wiggle your toes. Wiggle your fingers. Bring your legs together and bring your arms over your head. Give yourself one big stretch, release and roll and curl on your side. Stay for a moment, keep your eyes closed. And whenever you are ready, press up, open your eyes, cross your legs in front of you, wiggle your hips, find your sitting bones, sitting tall with neutral spine, shoulders relax, raise your arms up, make a prayer, lower the prayer into the center of your heart. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the practice. For now, stay well 
and I will see you next time. Namaste.